All right, in this video, we're going to look at uh, logarithmic differentiation. All right, so if you look in at this uh, example here, uh, we have y equals x minus 2 squared over the square root of x squared plus 1. Now, we could find the derivative of this using the quotient rule, but you can see that using the quotient rule, it would it would be a mess. It would be uh, when we take the derivative of the numerator we would have to use the chain rule and when we take the derivative of the denominator we would have to use the chain rule also. So what we're going to do here we're going we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So we got the natural log of y equals the natural log of x minus 2 squared over now this square root of x squared plus 1 I'm gonna rewrite that as x squared plus 1 raised to the 1 half okay alright now what I need to do is use my logarithmic properties to split this up right here this right hand side so that's gonna give me the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x minus 2 squared and remember when you have division that splits up into subtraction okay and then remember your logarithmic property that says you can take these exponents here and bring them down in front and multiply so we have the natural log of y equals 2 times the natural log of x minus 2 minus one half times the natural log of x squared plus one. All right. Now we can just differentiate. So over here on this side, all right. Remember your uh, implicit differentiation. Okay. We take we take the derivative just like we would with the x, and remember the uh, derivative of a natural log. It's whatever you're taking the natural log of goes in the denominator and then the derivative of this goes in the numerator. So that would be y prime. Okay. Alright. And then this one would be 2 times and then this goes in the denominator what we're taking the natural log of and then the derivative of this goes in the numerator so the natural log of x is 1 and natural log of 2 is 0 uh, I'm sorry the, the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of 2 is 0 minus 1 half and then in the denominator we have x squared plus 1 what we're taking the natural log of goes into the denominator and then the derivative of this goes in the numerator so the derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of 1 is just 0. Alright, so now we have y prime over y equals 2 over x minus 2 and then you can see here the 2's cancel and so we're left with minus x over x squared plus 1. All right, so now we have to solve this for y prime. So I'm going to multiply everything by y. So if I multiply this by y, the y's cancel. And so that's going to leave us with y prime equals y times 2 over x minus 2 minus x over x squared plus 1. Okay. Now, we want to get everything in terms of x, so what do we do with this y here? Well, what does y equal? Well, let's go back up here and see. Y is, y is equal to x minus 2 squared over the square root of x squared plus 1. And so we're going to take this, we're going to take this and plug it in for y down here. So that's going to give us 
y prime oh, let me change the pen colors so we get y prime equals now in the place of y I'm gonna put x minus 2 squared over the square root of x squared plus 1 times all of this 2 over x minus 2 minus x over x squared plus 1 and this would be our final answer here okay and if you wanted to you could get a common denominator and combine those but I don't if your teacher wants you to you can do it and if they don't care you just leave it like this all right so let's take a look at another problem all right so how about this one y equals x to the eighth cosine cubed x over the square root of x minus one all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take the natural log of both sides and once again we could use the quotient rule here but you can see that it would take a lot of work to do all that so we're going to take the natural log of both sides so I get natural log y equals natural log x to the eighth times cosine cubed x over and then once again this this square root I'm going to change it to x minus one to the one half okay all right so now we have natural log of y equals now I'm going to split this up so that's going to be natural log x to the eighth and you can see right here this is multiplication so that's going to split up using addition times the natural log of cosine cubed x and then this is division so that's going to be minus natural log x minus 1 to the 1 half now I can take the exponents and bring them down in front so that's going to be natural log y equals the well, I'm going to equal 8 times natural log x plus. All right. Now, th this part right here, this cosine cubed x, remember, I'm going to erase that 3. Remember, that's the same thing as cosine x all raised to the third power. So I can take this 3 and bring it down in front. So that's going to be 3 times natural log cosine x minus and then one half natural log x minus one okay. now we can take the derivative so remember this that's going to be a y down here and then the derivative of y is y prime because we're taking the derivative with respect to x remember your implicit differentiation equals 8 and then this oh, I'm sorry there's no parentheses there that's just natural log x okay so the derivative of natural log x the x goes down here and then derivative of x is 1 plus 3 and then this cosine here that goes in the denominator and then the derivative of cosine is what negative sine x minus one half and then derivative natural log x minus one x minus one goes into the denominator and then the derivative of this is one derivative of x is one derivative of one is zero all right so this is going to give us y prime over y I'm going to move this up a little bit equals 8 over x and then this minus and the plus that's going to be minus 3 sine x cosine x minus 1 over 2 times x minus 1 now 
we want to get the y over here so we multiply by y so when I multiply this terms, term by y the y's cancel and I'm left with y prime equals y times 8 over x minus 3 and then what's sine over cosine well that's just tangent minus 1 over 2 times x minus 1 okay now we have to get it all in terms of x so you see the y right here okay what does y equal well y equals this so we're going to take this and plug it in for y down here all right so that's going to give me y prime equals x to the eighth cosine cubed x over the square root of x minus 1 times all of this 8 over x minus 3 tangent x minus 1 over 2 times x minus 1 and this would be your final answer alright so let's take a look at one more alright so here we have y equals sine x tangent x alright so let's use logarithmic differentiation so I'm gonna take the natural log of both sides Okay. alright now remember this is the natural log of sine x and this sine x is raised to the tangent x so our logarithmic property says we can take this exponent and bring it down in front and multiply so I've got natural log y equals tangent x times natural log sine x alright so there's going to be a little bit more to this one we're going to have to uh, we'll have to use the product rule over here when we do the derivative alright so the derivative of natural log y I've got my y down here and y prime Okay, what we're taking the natural log of goes in the denominator and then the derivative of what we're taking the natural log of goes in the numerator alright so now over here I have the product rule so it's the derivative of the first function and the derivative of tangent is secant squared times the second function okay it's the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the derivative of the second function so the derivative of this okay so what I'm taking the natural log of goes into the denominator I mean yeah what I'm taking the natural log of goes into the denominator and then the derivative of what I'm taking the natural log of goes into the numerator so that's cosine x derivative of sine is cosine times the first function tangent x and so I'm left with y prime equals secant squared x times natural log sine x plus now let's look at this you see this term here is uh, cotangent and this one's tangent well cotangent times tangent is just one well, let me show you how we get that okay and if I write tangent in terms of sine and cosine you see this you see how these cancel okay oh, I'm sorry I left let me erase this I left the over y out still y prime over y so I get y prime over y equals secant squared x natural log sine x plus one okay. now I multiply everything by y so when I do that it cancels out over here so I've got y prime equals y times 
times secant squared x times natural log sine x plus 1. And so now the y right here, I have to get all this in terms of x. So what does y equal? Well, y is equal to sine x raised to the tangent x. So I have to plug this in for y. Okay. All right, so I get y prime equals sine x raised to the tangent x times secant squared x times natural log sine x plus 1. And this would be my final answer. Alright, so I hope this video's helped. I uh, uh, hope you'll check out my other videos. Uh, I do have some videos on how to take the derivative of natural log. You can check that out. Uh, if you had any questions on how I did these derivatives here. Uh, Alright, and if you like them, you can subscribe. Thanks.